Hi, my name is Gordon Agboloso. I'm going to speak to Caroline Merchant's philosophy. Is the world we live in going into extinction? The objective of this is to give you a pertinent information and broaden your understanding of how humans have been affected by the natural environment. After researching the philosopher Caroline Merchant, her philosophy of eco-feminism and feminist theory covered the vital contribution of women to the environment and seeing the earth as a mother and a living creature that can grow. Through eco-feminism, we must cherish our environment and take responsibility, understand how to preserve it. You ready for this? Merchant was not the first to present eco-feminist ideals and theories. The concept was introduced by a French writer, Francois Dubois, coined eco-feminists to show the influence of women and their capabilities to generate an ecological revolution. Ecofeminism proposes a new gender relation between women and men and nature. In this gender relation, all kinds of discernment and authority does not exist, and there is a value of interrelationship between humans and the earth. There is value in the preservation of the earth, and her life forms are recognized as sacred. Liberal feminism includes the scientific analysis that nature consists of small particles, move as individual normal agents, maximizing their self-interest. The environmental problems are due to development of natural resources at a rapid pace, and there is limited control in place to regulate the pollution of the environment. Be wow, better ways of working. I'm just quoting from the philosopher Stephen Covey. He once said, to learn and not to do is really not to learn or to know and not to do is really not to know. So let's put the knowledge gained so far into good use. Of course, there is environmental pollution. That is where you and I have to put in our knowledge and effort to make things better. There should be a program to have a basic education and preserve nature for all people on this planet. In this regard, people respect the law, know what is expected of them to abide by the laws, to conserve the environment and to address resources in a better way. By preserving nature, we can go green and encourage planting of more trees. Environmental protection the agency states that a typical vehicle emits about 4.6 tons of carbon dioxide per year. For short trips, it is recommended that you take the option to walk or bike if it is a long trip in your community. If travel on foot or on wheels is not feasible, a public transit, and of course, observing all the safety measures in place during this pandemic, then you can get to your destination. All these efforts put together will go a long way to save our planet and environment from going into extinction. Anthropocentric effort shows that only human beings have moral value. Though people may have responsibilities regarding the natural world, there can be challenges and we do not have the right responsibilities to the natural world. On the other hand, people may take utilitarian approaches because they weigh the benefits of actions versus disadvantages. By diving deep into merchant philosophy of the environment, I'm non-anthropocentric because I fit in the feminism tradition. I believe that while animal might have their users, they are living beings with their own intrinsic value. They also play their part to add value to the conservation of the environment. In summary, there is advancement in technology and modernization of science that has increased industrialization. 
though the objective of socialist feminism may be different as to whether capitalism and women's culture or socialism should be the ultimate objective of political action. According to Merchant, the political and social views can still be felt in as much as it was obvious in the philosophy and the science of the 17th century. There is unity and diversity in women, common goal of preserving the natural environment.